Well, tonight we have an update on Grayson Zrelak. He's the young man who beat cancer twice we told you about back in January. And now he's in another battle for his life. Yeah, he was hit while riding a skateboard, but tonight he's out of a hospital. And as Fox 35's Hannah McKenzie shows us, he has a long road to recovery. Hannah. Well, it was here on North Ronald Reagan Boulevard near Church Street where Grayson's Relac was hit by a car about six weeks ago. Tonight, he is back home and he tells me after he's recovered, he hopes to do some advocacy work and speak out about distracted driving. Two days after his 19th birthday, Grayson Zrelak hit by a car while skateboarding on his way to work in Longwood. Now, after more than a month, he's finally out of hospital. It's nice to be able to sleep in my own bed. It's nice to eat my mom's amazing cooking. And it's just nice to be able to just sit down and relax. Zrelak's severe injuries left him in a medically induced coma for weeks. His prognosis, uncertain. The trauma team doctors came up to us and let me know that he may not make it through the night. That was the, uh, the gut punch that I'll never forget. Parents Carl and Michelle at his bedside the entire time. It was so difficult to sit there and watch and not be able to do anything. Zrelak has a long road to recovery, but he's no stranger to hospitals. The two-time cancer survivor always pushing forward. I think of myself as like a cat. I have like six lives left, so he's already gone. But, um... Oftentimes with humor, adding some much-needed levity to a heavy time. He goes, is it true that I almost died? And I said, yes. I said, but, you know, you're here now. And he kind of said to me, he goes, well, that wouldn't have been good, would it? <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, oh, my God. So as I composed myself, I said, yeah, that would not have been good. Now he's focused on the future, his long-term goal of getting back to UCF, where he studies web design. Not overshadowed, though, by his short-term goal of taking a normal shower. Between it all, his relaxed positive outlook unwavering. If you're negative, you're never going to get anywhere in life. Always make sure every second counts and try to live your life to the fullest. Next up for his relax, he has a facial reconstructive surgery, and then closer to the end of March, he'll have his trach and feeding tube removed. And through it all, he remains grace and strong. Reporting live in Longwood, Hannah McKenzie, Fox 35 News. Great to see him out of the hospital, Hannah. Thank you.